Hi, hello, welcome back to Last Looks. My name is Carly, and uh, you might have guessed from my beautiful green updo that today we have got kind of a fun and exciting video to film. Uh, a little bit of backstory. So um, when Halloween was over, I was like, what other like fun, dramatic makeup looks am I gonna do? Because we're done with vampires for now. Not forever, obviously, but for now. Um, and I was just wondering like, what else can I do? And I had a fun and creative, uh, if not very complex, makeup look planned for last, for Friday's video. Didn't work out, didn't like the way it looked. Um, and I realized that like, I'm putting too much pressure on myself to make these look good and be like professional. When I've said a million times, like I am a professional makeup artist, but I am not like a professional SFX artist. And like generally when I do like weird fun looks like this, it's just that for fun. So I thought that today we should come together and have a little bit of fun. Cause this is probably the most ridiculous like costume makeup idea I've ever had. But nonetheless, I'm very excited about it. And honestly, I have faith that it's gonna come out like fun and good. But like I've said before, if you're new here, whenever I do a, a comfy, whenever I do a like costume makeup look, it is uh, less like a direct, gonna fix my bangs, direct like sort of cosplay look and more like a makeup look and outfit inspired by a character. And today is that especially. I wonder if any of you <laughs> have guessed who I'm gonna be based on my hair and uh, the time of the year and the fact that I referenced Halloween. A moment? Well, it's in the title. I am going to be becoming um, the hottest character in Nightmare Before Christmas. I understand Sally's beautiful, but the side characters in Nightmare Before Christmas really take the cake. For me, like when you're watching it, I think you really miss out if you don't like pause and like notice the side characters because there's so much detail and so much look and generally a lot of like written backstory for the characters who not who are not part of the main story at all and uh today we are going to become one of my favorites and her name uh since she doesn't have like a she's got an official name but her name is undersea gal uh which i love because that's how i talk but um i call people gal all the time uh but today we are going to be turned into that beautiful scaly undersea gal from nightmare before christmas who lives in the fountain and says perhaps it's the head that i found in the lake we're gonna become her uh i'll put a reference photo here So you know what we're going for. I'm thinking I'm not going to make my actual eyeballs look bigger or like try to fake eyeballs because like I'm not good at that. I really like the way that it looks. So I think that we're going to do like her eyeballs are yellow and she's got purple eyeshadow on and she's green, uh, which I'm so excited about. I love to make myself like green and blue and pink and whatever. Um... Her eyeballs are yellow and she wears purple eyeshadow. So I'm thinking we do like a big blown out purple smoky, by the way, covered my eyebrows off camera so that you guys didn't have to watch that travesty. Not perfect, pretty good. Uh, that, But we're gonna do big blown out eyeshadow so hopefully it covers it up better. Um, what was I saying? And then do yellow on the eye to sort of be inspired by her look. Um, for Halloween, like with my family this year, I was the Wicked Witch of the West from Wizard of Oz. Uh, and I painted myself green. And the way that I do that, I've been struggling with that for a while because I don't have any like face grease paints. And I tried to do the thing where you mix eyeshadow with um, my like Mehron white foundation and that didn't really work out that well so for halloween what i did is basically i just used this morphe 35b palette my palette that has all the colors and i just basically used this green as a water activated paint and it worked out pretty well so that is what i am going to be doing again i believe i might not use this exact green i might use this one or this one or a mix of the two but Basically, I've got a cup of water right here. I'm gonna dip my brush into the water and then just pretend that this is like paint for my face. So that's how we're gonna do it. Probably won't turn out that smooth, but it's me 
it's for fun. So uh, without further ado, I think that we're gonna start with our eyes and then do the face painting later. All right, all right, I've got my uh, ghastly green bangs pinned back so that we can start doing our eyeshadow. Uh, if you see my real human black hair, no you didn't. I'm so enjoying this green updo today. Uh, I think I just needed something different, needed something silly. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. I think I'm going to start by covering my eyes in... Where is it? In concealer as a base. So let's go ahead and do that. A little bit of a darker purple, a little bit of a denser brush to start creating the shapes. Yeah, okay. This is fun. And then basically, I'm just going to start creating that round shape on my eye. All right, I know it feels a little bit early for this, but I don't think that it is. I am going to take my NYX pencil in black bean that's getting so little, and I'm going to sort of emphasize this shape so that I can blend it out in that purple because I do want this to be like nice and dark. And if I do it early, I can like blend it away or clean it up or something and it doesn't like ruin everything because I really do want to like blend light colors out from dark colors. So that is what we're doing right now, is creating this shape in black. Not to mention like Burton characters are um, like messy, <laughs> messy looking. I'm gonna take a, hmm, let's see, do I have a darker purple? Oh, I do in my KVD palette. I'm gonna use my KVD fetish palette in corset, problematic eyeshadow for problematic director. <laughs> I don't support Kat Von D, but I'm broke and I bought this a long time ago, obviously. I'm gonna go back to the B35, right? B35? <laughs> 35B palette from Morphe and take some of those, take that brighter purple that we started with and then that is what I'm going to use to blend out like the big size of this. Come on. Here's a <laughs> big flat packer. Why do I keep dropping it? Flat packer brush and um, some concealer, huh? Pale concealer. And then basically, I'm just gonna draw a circle in the middle of this. With this much fluffier, but still sort of like flat, dense brush, I'm going to take this yellow, this bright yellow from the 35B palette from Morphe, which I don't even think you can get anymore, and just pack that into the circle. And then I'll use a more precise packer brush for like underneath, but I just wanna make sure I'm getting like a lot of that pigment so it's clear and it's obvious. All right, friends, we're done with shadow. For now, uh, let's move forward to skin. I'm nervous about this part, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm a little nervous. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a brush like this. Uh, it's kind of fluffy, it's kind of flat, doesn't really matter. I'm gonna move my wig back a little bit. Um, and I'm gonna dip it in this cup of water here that is appropriately green. And then basically, I'm gonna rub it in this. This green looks really dark, but once you get it like fleshed out over your skin. It's sort of the perfect like Wicked Witch of the West shade, which also seems like the perfect 
undersea gal shade. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. Oh goodness gracious, I got it too wet. I have, you have to find like the right ratio of water to uh, eyeshadow to make this work. But basically I've got nothing on my skin because I feel like any sort of moisturizer or anything would mess this up. And I'm just kinda starting to put it all over. And um, the way that I did it on Halloween and the way that I think that it works is to do like multiple thin layers like nail polish so it doesn't like plump up anywhere and we can sort of like casually start building the uh, coverage of the color. So I realize it doesn't matter what it looks like in person. It matters what it looks like on camera, but I swear it's pretty blended. It's pretty blended in person and it looks really messy on camera, but we're going to go ahead and move forward. I think that my next steps are first, I am going to cover my whole face in a layer of setting powder because I think that that might um, sort of even out the color. We'll see. Definitely, I think that that's helping even out the color. So, over the whole thing. And my ears, they're the thing that is like the patchiest. And then after that, I'm going to do a layer of setting spray. to help that powder to sit down and also not look so powdery, huh? One sec. I'm gonna go back into my KVD fetish palette from a million years ago while my skin is a little bit damp and I'm gonna use Kink, which is like a nice bright magenta-y purple color and I'm just gonna kinda go all around my eyes with that. I am going to go into just a black eyeshadow shade, a nice pigmented black eyeshadow shade on this old paintbrush. <laughs> and I'm just gonna start giving myself a couple of nice round contour areas. I really look like old Greg. I feel like I look like, um, people tell me on a regular basis that I look like Noel Fielding, like IRL. Um, so I feel like if I paint, green face it's like immediately i'm all greg because i base level kind of look like noel field <laughs> and basically all i'm doing here is creating some basic face shapes just my base kind of my regular old contour again do, gonna do my neck and chest later just don't want to do it on camera but I'm creating a really distinct jawline blush because I want her to have a good blush moment. So, ooh, there we are, there we are. Okay, I guess it does matter because this is, blush is kind of looking good. Shy, it's in the shade shy. I've got a green face, I'm not shy. I am gonna put pink over this. Maybe not though, I can't decide. You guys are just watching me do this. This will be good to blend the eyeshadow, blend up into the eyeshadow though. I feel like I should take like a green powder over that to sort of blend it out and make it less intense. So I'm gonna do like a light green powder just to like, Burton characters don't really like, it's just wanted to be a little, I just want it to be slightly more muted than it is. There we go. Putting a green over it helped it to be a slightly more muted. <laughs> I look silly. Okay, I'm taking um, that fetish palette again. And a highlighter brush, let's do some highlighter. And then I'm gonna do setting spray again so that it sticks nice. And 
I'm gonna take Shibari from that old KBD palette and use it as a highlighter. It's like a light green shimmer. Yeah, that's fun, huh? Blush, I want more blush. Where the blush belongs, I want more of it. Oh no, I look terrible. You know what we're about to do? We're gonna fix it with uh, eyeliner because that's that's the way it goes, dude. Um, okay. Uh, I think I'm just gonna do a big winged eyeliner. I think that it calls for it. Also gonna do a little bit of white to make my eyes stand out. Let's do liner uh, to turn this into into something usable. Okay, I need my trusty old Wet n Wild Mega Liner, and then I'm gonna do just a big wing to bring everything together. Cause she's got like thick, thick black eyeliner and thick black eyelashes. But this little mess up made me realize that I think it would make me feel happier if I separated this yellow and this purple with some black eyeliner. So I'm going to do like a liner shape that I used to do. And I'm just going to like come up and around. We're just doing whatever at this point, up and around. and then connect it here. Oh, that actually looks really cute and separates the yellow and the purple in a really good way. So I'm gonna do that on the other eye and I'm also not gonna fix this clean mess up because, you know, <laughs> it's I'm doing a Tim Burton character, right? I actually think that this is so fun and so cute. Now, okay, I'm also gonna add some fake bottom lashes, literally just because I think it fits the look. Just three on the outside, very Burton-esque. All right, so 100,000 years ago, I bought the shade Lavender Jade by MAC, which is not a color that I would wear. Normally I don't wear MAC lipstick because they're so expensive. I don't know why I own this, but I do. And it is like her perfect shade. I'm gonna pale out the little middle, middle a little bit, but she's got like bright <laughs> like purple lipstick on. So that is what we're gonna use. Lavender Jade by MAC, it's gonna make my teeth look disgusting. That's fine. First, I'm going to start with a dark brown eyeliner as lip liner. This is from LA Colors, and I'm just going to overline my lips like crazy. All right, now that I have the general shape drawn on, I'm gonna go in with this lipstick and we're just gonna see how it works. Oh my go in the middle a little bit with this incognito concealer that I purchased but bothers my skin so I'm gonna use it on my lips to lighten it up slightly I'm trying to get it up to the overlined parts And that's how I do it. Is it embarrassing? I don't think so. All right. I am going to go 
finished fixing my hair, putting on some lashes, painting my chest, putting on my outfit, basically doing all my finishing touches, and I will be right back with the finished look. I'm so excited. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. All right, y'all, this is the final look for my undersea gal uh, <laughs> Christmas time festive costume. Uh, she's one of my favorite side characters. I think that this looks ridiculous, but honestly, it was like a silly idea in the first place. So I'm just, I'm having fun. I feel good. I feel cute. Uh, I love this green hair. Uh, I love this liner. Honestly, I just had a good time and I'm glad that you guys stuck around and had a good time with me today. If you like this video and this look of mine, please make sure to like it down below. And if you uh, like me and you'd like to stick around, you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos on Monday and Friday. Basically what I do is just uh, whatever I want. And uh, also, if you would be so kind, follow me on Instagram at lastlooks underscore. <sighs> so that you can keep updated with uh, every weird look that I do um, on and off camera. Uh, again, thank y'all so, so much for watching this silly video and uh, I'll see y'all on Friday. Bye.